everyone, my name is Teju and I'm a Technical Marketing Manager on Okta's product team, focusing on integrations across our core set of products. Today we'll talk about a great new feature in our Office 365 OAN application, Client Access Policies. In this application, we'll cover what is GA today and briefly cover what's coming down the road. Okta's Office 365 sign-on policies will help you to enhance the overall security of your Office 365 implementation. It allows you to leverage Okta's policy framework to build rules and controls around how specific clients access the Office 365 service without having to create complex claim rules, expressions, or use any type of PowerShell. In order to achieve this granular, granular level of control, Okta leverages host headers sent from the client and from the Office 365 service to make access decisions based on the policies you configure. For example, I could configure a set of policies that allow users inside my network to sign in without MFA, or I could allow users from outside my network to prompt for MFA on sign-in. As we build out this feature set, we're also adding platform level granularity, so you can decide which platforms you'd like your users to access the service from. Let's talk about some of the best practices when configuring client access policies for Office 365. First, keep in mind that Okta evaluates all rules by an Okta admin based on rule priority, starting from priority one to the final rule. So, if a user does not fall within the scope of a rule, they will be subject to the default sign-on rule, which allows access to Office 365 services. Next, if you need to configure multiple network locations, you'll need Adapta, Okta's adaptive MFA SKU. Last, Exchange Active Sync does not support MFA prompts, so if you're seeing requests from your end users where they're saying they're not getting prompted for MFA, it's likely because they may not be using a browser or app that supports the MFA prompting. Now let's take a look at how to configure client access policies in the Office 365 OAN application. We'll take a look at this uh, end user sign-on experience with the policy enabled. Start by going to your Office 365 application in Okta. Then click on the Sign-On tab across the top. Scroll down and you'll see a Sign-On policy. Note that there's a default Sign-On policy included in the application. Click on Add Rule and you'll see the different configurations that we have. We can assign this policy to all users and even choose a network zone, which should populate automatically based off of the zones you've configured in Okta. Next, we can define the type of client and platform that users can access Office 365 from. You can choose web browser and modern auth clients. Last, choose whether you want to allow or deny access on the chosen clients and platforms. You can also choose some additional settings for MFA authentication frequency. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and deny access. And now you can go ahead and save this policy. Now, if we switch over to our end user, we can see that on refresh, I'm not able to access Office 365 from Internet Explorer on a Windows device since I chose to block browser access in my sign-on policy. And now, if we head back to the Okta console and change the setting to allow access, the end user is going to actually regain access to their Office 365 applications. So I've switched this back to allowed, and let's go back to our end user. We can see here that the end user now does have access to Office 365 applications and is able to access mail successfully. And if you're wondering why the UI for the sign-on policy looks a little bit different, it's because we're actively working on developing these feature sets so that you can add even better platform level granularity and client level granularity to your sign-on policies. So we've seen the admin and end user experience for Office 365 sign-on policies. When configuring these sign-on policies, here's a few questions to ask yourself. One, should the rule apply to all users accessing the Office 365 application? Two, should the rule apply to a subset of users or groups only? You might want to consider scoping these rules down if there's a requirement to enable exceptions or there's a need to slowly phase out these sign-on rules to an existing Office 365 deployment. This was just a sneak peek of Okta's client access policies for Office 365. We're continuously developing this feature to add even better granularity for platform level support, as well as a breakout between web browsers and modern authentication clients. So look out for future videos for that feature set. And lastly, before you go, check out our documentation below for more information on accessing these client access policies and configuring them in your own environment. Thanks for watching.